This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. All right, in this video, I wanna talk about probably one of the most underrated effects within After Effects that has so many awesome uses, and it's called Motion Tile. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunlight Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So the motion tile effect is amazing. There's plenty of uses for it. And what's great about the motion tile effect, it allows you to easily repeat your composition, your scene, whatever you're working on in After Effects. And because of that, there are so many cool uses and the ability to fix your composition. And I'm gonna show you several different ways in this video how you can use the motion tile effect and start enhancing your work within AE. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, so we have After Effects loaded up and our first technique, we're gonna talk about a nice slide transition between two clips here inside of After Effects. And it's really easy to do this with the motion tile effect. And trust me, you're gonna love this transition. So when you have two clips in here and they're split apart in the timeline like so, you have this gap here, we can go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we'll go up to effect, stylize and we can grab motion tile and there's our beautiful effect and what we can do here is maybe like a second before the first clip ends we'll add a keyframe for tile center and we'll move past the second clip maybe a second into it and we have the x and y settings here on the tile center parameter and what we can do here is say take the x parameter here and we can just move this over several times like you can do 10 times if you want and what's great about this, you can see that there's edges between these clips here and we can just kind of match that up to the edge of our comp. And we have effectively just slided over our clips very easily. And then we can hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Select both those keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease. And one thing we might want to do is come here and turn on motion blur here at the top and turn on for adjustment layer. And now we have some motion blur here. So I'll go ahead and render this out and show you what we have. So now we have our motion tile slide transition effect and it's really nice to be able to do this. And of course, you know, you don't have to do this from an X position. You also have the ability to do this from the Y parameter. So it's truly up to you how you want to use this effect. So this was a very first basic concept of motion tile. And before we move on, I have to say thank you to our awesome sponsors, premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. And moving on to our next technique is another, you know, stylized transition that can be used for motion graphics or for video clips, but I'm using this with my last tutorial because I didn't show how to do this in my last tutorial. And if you want to take a look at how to do a logo animation, a very custom logo animation, I will drop that tutorial in the description, but I want to talk about this transition and it's merged with several different effects because we're going to really, you know, tear this up. So to get started with this, we'll go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we'll go up to effect, stylize, and we're going to grab motion tile. And we'll come here to the beginning where we want to start. We'll add a keyframe for tile center. We'll move to the last frame of this clip and we'll do the same thing. Grab the X value here and just, you know, move this over while holding down shift. So it goes down. So it goes by really quick and you know, we can stop it there. It doesn't have to be in the center or anything like that. So I want to be able to skew this and like angle it a little bit. So we'll go to effect distort and we're going to grab transform and we'll come here to the beginning where this starts. So right here is fine. We'll add a keyframe for skew. We'll move forward to maybe a second forward and we'll set the skew to like negative 28 and you know, negative 26 is good. So now we'll get this value here and it's going to be completely you know, skewed. It looks cool. But then we get these black borders here and this is where I'm going to add another effect that's very similar to motion tile, but it's called CC repeat tile and we'll go to effect stylize and we're going to grab CC repeat tile. So what's great about this effect is that it's going to duplicate our composition here because we got transparency because we you know skewed the comp. So what we need to do is make sure this repeat tile effect is above all other effects in our effects control. So this is at the top. Then what we can do is expand down. And you see we're expanding things downward and expand upward. And we want to keep our main comp in the center. So this is cool. Then what I want to do is come here to tiling and click on checker flip V. And you can see that the top and bottom are mirrored. However, we get this border here that we don't want. 
So what we can do to easily fix that is come here to blend borders and set this to like 90%. And boom, no more borders there. And now this entire thing is, you know, duplicated very easily. And this look and this works great for video clips as well. Then what we want to do is just to you know polish off this effect. We want to distort this comp by a lot. So we'll go to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab optics compensation. And we'll come here to maybe halfway through. We'll add a keyframe for field of view. And we'll come here to our last frame of our comp. And we'll set our field of view all the way up to like 180. And then make sure you check on reverse lens distortion and boom, it pops right into our face. So it really starts to distort our clip. And then of course, let's go ahead and make all of our first keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And that way everything will be nice and smooth and beautiful. When it's all said and done with all these other effects with the motion tile effect, it should look like this. And it's really awesome just being able to just add more effects and more style to our motion tile transition. All right, so in our next technique, we're gonna talk about creating a you know stylized slideshow scene with the motion tile effect. So what we could have here is a composition with a split screen effect. So we have four different video clips in this one composition. This was very easy to do. You just scale down your video clips and position them however you want. And then what we do is we make sure to select all of our layers, go to layer pre-compose, and then we'll have our composition here. And what we want to do is scale out of this and then have the motion tile effect come into play. So very easy to do this. Go to layer, new adjustment layer. And then we'll go up to effect, distort, and we're going to add transform. And from here, we, what we can do, maybe like add a second or two seconds, we can add a keyframe for scale and position. And we'll move forward here maybe by a second. And we can set the scale down to 50%. And we can also go back to say to our first keyframe here. And if we want, we can you know, maybe scale into one of these shots and reposition whatever one that we want to be on top of. So we can have like a full you know, screen display here. So now we'll be on our first clip and then it'll zoom out. And then we'll just need to reposition. And then it'll zoom out and boom. Then we see our other clips here. And you can have up to nine clips into this screenshot. It's up to you how you want to you know, move it around. But now with that, we have our basic effect in here. Of course, we'll make all these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 our keyboard. Then we'll go back up to effect, stylize, and we're going to add the repeat tile because we need to expand the you know darkness here. So we come here, we can expand this right, left, you know, just fill up the composition here. And then obviously down and up. So now we have the entire you know composition filled up here. And then we can create a new adjustment layer and then add our great motion tile effect by going to stylize and we'll add motion tile. And we can add a keyframe for tile center and it's also add a keyframe for phase because I'm just doing a little bit different this time. And we come here to our, you know, end of our composition, wherever we want this to end, maybe we'll do like six seconds or so. And we can just increase our tile center, whether that's the X or Y or both parameters. And we can also increase the phase here and that's gonna allow us to move this in a separate direction. You can also do the horizontal phase and I'll actually bring my first keyframes in by a little bit and we'll make all of our keyframes easy, easy keyframes. So now it's all rendered out, we have something very similar to this, a very nice you know, slideshow type effect for our composition. And you know this could be great for like a promo video if you wanna like overlay some text on this. Uh, but it's just a really cool effect if you just want to create an awesome, you know, slideshow effect with just very little bit of footage. And for our last technique with the motion tile effect, we're going to talk about adding camera shake with it. And this is adding a wiggle expression just to the position of a clip. And you can see you get black borders around your shot, which means that to fix this, one thing you can do very easily is just scale this clip in and get rid of the black borders. But then you're scaling into your shot and you're, you know, clipping out maybe some crucial details. And I'm not a big fan of doing that scaling into my shot to fix, you know, a little bit of post camera shake. So with the motion tile effect added over here, what we can do is just alt click the tile center and type in wiggle, open parenthesis two comma 40, close parenthesis. The first number here in the expression is how many wiggles per second. And the second value is how intense you want the wiggle to be. So we've had this expression and you see that we have, you know, the edges expanded here, but it's not what we want it to be. What we need to do is check on mirror edges. So now everything looks good to go and we have no extra black edges and everything's mirrored. And now we have our own post camera shake on this shot very easily. And this is a great way to quickly add camera shake to your footage. I want to give a shout out to several After Effects packs that I use to help me speed up my workflow 
and to create awesome work. These packs are Toko and Create Pack, which have thousands of elements from title animations to devices to backgrounds to shape elements and a whole bunch of other useful elements that allow me to quickly add amazing elements to my compositions. And what's great about these packs is that they come with extensions for After Effects, meaning that you can preview all the templates within After Effects and just click on apply and bam, it's already in your composition. And you can easily make any changes to text, colors, and then before you know it, you're rendering out your project. So if you want to start getting work done really quick while producing amazing results for your business and for your clients, I will drop Create Pack and Toko links in the video description so you can check them out for yourself. So those are just a few reasons why the motion tile effect is awesome and I hope you're able to implement this effect in the future because I absolutely love it. So hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.